Welcome to episode two of my Monday morning. It's a series of videos where I talk about a topic that is floating around in my head whilst I'm getting on with my Monday morning. Today, I'm in the Grand Park of Tirana. So let's go and explore. And in today's video, I want to talk about slow travel here in Albania and why it is the best. The first question you might be asking, it may be obvious, but what is slow travel? Basically, it's a way of traveling where you do it slowly. And rather than spending two or three days or a week in one place, you might spend a month or two months or three months in that place. And you really get to experience it. You find out the places where the locals hang out. You have more time to do the things that you love in life. And what you will find is it's a much relaxing, slower pace of life and travelling. And you will mainly find it is people that are retired, or like myself, a remote worker, that travel in this way. So right now I'm just finding the shady spots to sit in and talk to you. But yes, a very chilled Monday morning, which I'm sure you can see from my videos. They're very chilled, they're very relaxing and that's my life that's how i like to live life i don't want to be rushing around everywhere i like to take my time and really experience a place that i'm staying in what are you doing with your monday morning let me know down in the comments so why is slow travel the best in albania let me explain what i mean by that so if you do slow travel in Albania, especially if you spend a month in Tirana, you get time to check out different restaurants, different coffee houses, and find the best places and spend more time in the best places, rather than rushing around trying mediocre places that you know you wouldn't go back to. You get more time to, to find the best of the places that you are living in. Just look at my view, Monday morning. It's 10 a.m. I used to hate Monday mornings. I used to just have that horrible feeling in my stomach knowing that I got to go and work in the office and work the nine to five and camp down to Friday. This is just an incredible lifestyle that I've built for myself. And I'm so proud. And what I want to get across in these videos is you can have this too if you really want it. So I'm going to the coast of the weekend and I'm going to be spending a month there. Again, slow travel is the best. So I know I've come to this park a few times. It's featured in my videos a few times, but slow travel. I can come back here as many times as I want. I feel that my videos reflect the type of life that I lead. A very chilled, slow paced life. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. <laughs> You know, you don't need to be a crazy, extrovert, adventurous traveller. Right, we shall continue on with this walk. Absolutely stunning park this is. The Grand Park of Tirana is definitely in the top five of my favourite parks in the world, for sure. I'm loving coming here. So normally I stay in a city for a month. This is my fourth week in Tirana. So I've had a few direct messages on Instagram and also comments on YouTube asking why I'm not traveling more of Albania. And this is all part of slow travel. But what I try to get across in my remote working video is that this isn't a holiday for me. I have to work for five hours a day contracting and that means that I can't go exploring and visiting different places and also I don't drive I'm blind in my right eye so I can't have a driving license so I can't rent a car so that limits me in a lot of ways but yes I'm working I just don't have the time to be able to go to all those different places which is why slow travel suits my type of lifestyle obviously when my business takes off then that's different I'll have more freedom and flexibility to 
to be able to uh, see more of countries but also not seeing everywhere is a good thing because then you can come back later and see the places that you didn't get to see on your first visit so yes that's the reason why I slow travel it is time for a blueberry ice cream and it's melting so I'm gonna have to eat it quick <laughs> oh I needed this I hope this video helps you understand the type of way I travel and slow travel for me is the best way to travel living this lifestyle and also Albania is just the best country to travel slow in looking forward to spending a month on the coast and then in the future I will come back and explore the mountains the north further south lots of time to come back and travel slow in Albania but I'm gonna leave the video here for today I am sweating like crazy it's been a hot one I hope you've enjoyed the video if you've got any questions at all leave them down in the comments and I shall see you all again very soon with a new video from Albania take care